welcome back. You're watching Hard Copy coming to you from our studios in Abuja. Our guest tonight is Senator Ali Undome representing Borno South. And in this second part of the interview, I ask him what he makes of the IG's refusal to respond to the summons of the Senate. Here's what he says. I have been accused as a senator, sitting senator, as a sponsor of Boko Haram. The Senate president is going through trial. Several other senators, as I'm speaking to you, Senator Jang are being arraigned before High Court of Justice in Joss. We he's are, been refused bail. The, oh, was he? He's been refused bail. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, but that is now. He has been refused bail, and he's a senator. Is any senator more senatorial or more important than the other? I went through court process for six years. And my colleagues said the, I did the right thing then under the leadership of David Mark. That Senator Alin Dume is still our member and he stands as an accused until he is convicted beyond reasonable doubt by a competent court of law. He is our colleague and he is innocent and we stand by him. That was it. So, but when you say, because uh, police has, have issues with the uh, Dino, that means they have issues with the Senate, and then one of your colleagues have been refused bail, and you do not say anything about it, I'm just hearing this for the first time, why should they refuse Jang bail? Somebody that is supposed to be even given bail on self-recognition, because these are mere allegations that he spent six or something billion. And he's not going anywhere, I believe, because he's all too old to even jump the bail. So I'm surprised to hear from you now that he has been refused bail. And this is the type of things the senators are supposed to take upon. Where there's injustice to one, it's injustice to all. But when you take the Senate with someone in IG because of an individual, I, I, tend to, I tend to look at it and I say, why? You know, and we, 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 are, we are now... We have lost it. The senators say it was also because of other killings across the country. Please, Mope, you saw what this, the, the, the response of the IG and what, he, what they displayed. Didn't you see it? The letter from the clerk? Yes. It had, what was it reading? It had other killings at the end. What, did, what, did, what was it reading? What was the heading? Since you are the one that is insisting to drag me into this. Now, let us talk about the senatorial district which you represent in Borno State. Yeah, that's you just... represent Borno South. Yes. You have raised objections in the recent past, I think sometime in November, uh, talking about um, the level of attacks which you say has risen to a worrisome level. Yes. They haven't abated since then. Mm. What do you think? Do you think that we are you know, getting closer to the end of its insurgency in the Northeast. Yeah. We are not only getting closer, as I believe. I just came back yesterday. We are not only getting closer, but inshallah, we are getting to the end of it. But especially now that uh, we are being able, well, we are expecting delivery of the aerial surveillance and aerial support, aerial support. That's the critical aspect. Which we understand for... will not arrive until 2020. Oh, okay, but we already have received some from uh, Russia, we have now the, 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 the capacity of the Air Force and even the ground forces have been elevated to, uh, to, uh, to a certain level. I mean, we do great, as I told you, and we see what is happening. Now, the, my concern more is not about, it's not that of um, the attacks by, 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 by Boko Haram in terms of their uh, fighters, but more of the suicide bombers now. What you hear is suicide bombers going to soft targets and detonating bombs. And you see they use people that are being indoctrinated. Sometimes they even uh, guide these people. Uh, or, or, or is it uh, uh, like if you, you, you force somebody to or strive uh, uh, explosive uh, on his body and lead him to a place and the, they have the remote the, the device to detonate, you know, they use the, the people as guinea pig, you know, for, the, for, for, for carrying out their deaths. That is our major concern now. So this issue of 
isolated black spot that they use to send, uh, and, and, and the biggest concern is they use small girls of 10, 15 years. Uh, I came with the statistics last time about we lost over 100 and something small girls within the range of 15, 10, 15. That is worrisome for you. Yeah. How do you think government can solve it? How do you think government can help? Well, help. see, there's the need for more intelligence now. It's not, we, 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 we the, the issue of using the ground force to repel, attack, take the fight to them is going on very well. The aerial surveillance and attack is going on very well. But then these isolated cases need you know, more intelligence. Mm. Well, you stood trial for six years. You've already mentioned that here yeah. on allegations that you were affiliated with the sect. No, I was sponsoring Boko Haram. This year. Yes, you, that you were sponsoring Boko Haram. You yes. have been cleared, and the courts upheld a no case submission which you had filed as at that time. Now, would you say that you have been able to read yourself totally of the stigma that that accusation brought to you? Well, I'm a Muslim. And. Um, I strongly believe in my religion. And my religion says that God will test you by, you know, putting you through some of these things in order to see your faith. I don't hang it on anybody, no. And even prophets that are ordained and selected by God, Joseph, Abraham, Moses, Jesus Christ, Jesus, all went through this kind of a persecution, and they came out of it. I, I have put that behind me, and uh, to be honest, God has shown me, I believe in myself, nobody believes in that, only a few stereotype people, especially, that, you know, that just look at it like, they, 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 politically. But for me, I have put that behind, and it brought me out as a better person. My real, real concern and annoyance with what they did to me, and I'm surprised that they were able to stand up strong, was my family and friends. My small children were in school, and they, sometimes they have been ridiculed, but God in his infinite mercy made them strong, and they finished. Senator, I'm just wondering though, there are many who hold the belief that politicians in the Northeast will know a thing or two about Boko Haram, how it started. You're not the only one who has faced that accusation. Um, Senator Alimodo Sheriff, who yes. was a former governor of Borono State, has also been through that. In fact, a lot of people think he started the Boko Haram section. No, no, I don't not, think... Not, not one person, not two people I don't think have that, said that. No, I don't think it is fair to even rob uh, Senator Alimodo Sheriff or accuse him of being the sponsor of Boko Haram, no. Are, are you friends now? No. He's back in the APC? Yes. We have never been friends. He was my governor. Why do you think it's not fair to, to accuse him? Because they say that it was no, this because I know what happened now. I know what happened. I'm from Boro State. You don't think politicians had any hand in it? No, uh, no. you can't say directly or completely that there are no hands, but you should understand the relationship. Let me tell you what happened to Ali Sheriff. One of their leaders, Mohammed Yusuf, was leading the call for Sharia implement full implementation of Sharia in Boro. And he had a large followership. And because of politics, then they were playing politics. Anybody they support is like, more likely to have upper hand. And they now agreed with Ali Sharif to support Ali Sharif. In return, Ali Sharif will implement Sharia, which is now in vogue that time in all over the northern states. Now, by the time they came, he even had a member of the, his um, sect. Who that was is, a commissioner in Yes, Senate, who yes. was a commissioner? In Governor Ali Modusheri's yes. cabinet. Okay, that is the story. Okay? And they were, everything was going on fine, but they had their own type of doctrine that they were preaching, which was more peaceful as at them. But then we, they had a clash with the authority on common helmet. Okay? And in the process, I think they lost some of their members. So their members were shot and killed. Now they demanded justice. That was where the trouble started, though. That was how it started. Mm. So you, you would really exonerate Sen Senator Limodo Sherry from all that has happened? No, no, no. I don't think... Uh, I, I'm not in the position to do that because I only know about myself. 
the government said at one time that Ali Sharif is clean. And I do, as I said, I don't want to rob in somebody just like that. I have no evidence to you show that Ali Sharif is involved. And look, I am a representative of people in southern Borno now. And somebody might be a criminal that I don't know. And he comes to my house regularly and they did not catch him. Then when they catch him, I say, oh, you have been living with this criminal. But I didn't know he was a criminal. So would you say, okay, I'm a criminal too? Well, Senator Ali Ndome, thank you for coming on Hard Copy. Thank you. the program tonight but not before we say thank you to all those who watch our conversations live and those who use our social media handles you all appreciate it if you want to join in the discussion simply use the handles on your screen thank you for watching I'm Maokwe Ogun Yusuf see you online <laughs>